This week on Maker's Lab, learn how to make a spin wheel. Spinning wheels are so much fun, especially when you can tailor make them for your customers so that you can draw them in and have a bit of fun with them in store. You know, let them win something. Stick around and I'll show you how I made this one. So I got this old spinning wheel from a customer um, and it was a bit outdated and he wanted to change it up for his shop. Make it look um, pretty cool for what they're going to be doing now versus what they used to do. And we're going to refurbish this so it looks nice and make sure that it has everything that it needs for this new shop of theirs. Well it all starts with the design. Uh, the designer had to make sure that it had every element for this new shop of theirs. And Basically, this design has to be orientated around the customer getting something for free and a small chance of them losing money. And I think the design came out quite nicely and I think it's very fair on what you can and can't get. So it's off to the printing. The vinyl that I used on my AM machine is going to be a greyback material just so that I can make sure it sticks to the spinning wheel and not have any uh, chance of it peeling off while they're spinning it. And um, this I'm going to be printing on my AM printer and I'm going to be using its maximum color output just so that I can have deep beautiful color coming out on this print. Straight after it's printed, we're going to leave it to dry for about 10 minutes, just so the ink could cure. Then we're going to laminate it, purely so that it can last a bit longer, and so that if anyone's touching it, you don't mess up the ink. And it's just going to keep that beautiful color sitting there, so it's not going to be scratched or, or blemished. So now we're off to the cutter plotter. We've got our AR marks and we're going to cut this out with the plotter so that I don't have to cut it by hand. Especially being a round circle, it's not going to be very easy. So use my tools wisely from AM and we get the job done. Upon taking it apart, I've chosen different aspects of this item that I'm going to remove the old vinyl and some I'm going to leave on. For the middle wheel where the logo goes, that's made out of metal, so removing the vinyl is not going to damage the metal. Um, it's just going to leave a bit of a glue mark which we're going to remove. Once I've removed all the vinyl and I'm happy to go ahead for application. It's really good to use a decent squeegee to make sure that you applicate your vinyl correctly so that you don't have any bubbles or blemishes and also to make sure that there's lots of water so that you don't have any bubbles and that squeegee can do its job and push it all out and apply it to the board. For the big wheel I chose not to remove the old vinyl simply because it's made out of ABS and I'd prefer not to crack it and just go straight over it. It'd be a much easier job. Never gonna let this tape 
begin Cause everything is like a dream Yeah, but only in that dream that I live in Oh, darling This particular squeegee is of very good quality. It helps me remove all bubbles or water in applicating and it also doesn't scratch my material. It makes me very happy to use this and it is very important to have a decent squeegee. After I've applicated all the vinyl, the last thing is the magnet. Uh, the customer wants two different price brackets and I chose to use a magnet just so that he can peel it off and on so that it's easy for him to change it without having to peel vinyl off and on. I'm not so sure exactly why, it may just be because of the day that he chooses to have 10 Rand or 20 Rand, but I thought it was quite a nice idea just to make sure it's easy for the client to peel it off and on. Magnet, it's easy. And now it's time to put it to the test. Spins really well, looks really cool, has beautiful colors. I like the way that everything's situated. Chance to win something is pretty cool as well. And now the only thing to do now is take it through to the shop and see how it does. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.